Hey everyone, this is GTX Doom back with another video. Uh, we are currently playing some Conan Exiles on the normal Conan map, the Exile map, I guess. And today I'm going to show you guys where to find some of the Ewa monsters because I had a hard time finding out where these monsters are and uh, the internet was not too helpful. So I'm going to show you guys where to get the Luff, Lufk head, the fish head, Crystal Rock Nose King, the Awakened Giant head which is just basically a, a really huge Anubis. Um, I'm gonna show you where to get the locust nightmare head as well, the lurker, and the hellcat. If you haven't come across any of these, I will show you in this video today where to get them and how to cheese some of them. You can't cheese all of them, I do believe, but we'll look into that today. So, uh, thank you guys for joining, and uh, yeah, let me quickly show around our base. I think I'll put some timestamps in the description so you guys can skip ahead if you don't want to see all the dilly dallies before we get into it. And to see where you can find the specific ones if you do need them. So uh, yeah, let's get, I guess let's get into it. Okay, um, quickly just going to show you, this is our mage base setup. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh. yeah, I just loaded in, so sometimes the floor doesn't really load. That's why all these carpets are here, because our base is so huge. Um, yeah, it doesn't always load all the structures, but yeah, this is our mage base side. We have two sides. Uh, living quarters up there. We have our elevators up here. It's tree house built. And drop off stuff over there, main base over here, bunch of stuff. We got our inn over here, Pandy's inn. He's a pretty cool dude. He made this inn, Look at the brewers and everything. It's pretty cool. And it has he has upstairs. I'm I'm thinking he's gonna put some tables or whatever up here later on. But yeah, just uh, quickly showing you guys a little bit. Got our artisan tables over here, a well for some water. Then we have our armory and torturers benches over here. The armor, basic one, the AOC one, torturers bench, and even some uh, makeup stations. Construction platform right there. Black Noir. This is Chibi's uh, hound. Uh, Score, score town, I do believe. Uh, yeah, and then Nomery is our food place. We got the stoves over here, some fridges, some way place to cook, you know, campfire, all that. Just a little quick uh, show through for you guys. Some vaults over here, and then you can see that's all our stables down there. Chibi's base is up there, Pandy's base is up there, Chibi's workstation is over there, she's a miner. And then the mage base. Uh, that I do believe is Cheese's base up way there. Let me quickly see if I can walk on the floors up above here. Because like I said we have so much stuff loading in, I think these might not, yeah. Some of them don't load in, but yeah, this cheese space this is my little humble abode over here. Let's see if I can show you. Let me just get to this carpet. This is my faction pit. Um, Aris, I call them Aris. It's a link, lynx cat, I do believe. Yeah, and my dragon here. That's just a decoration. So much resources just to make that decoration uh, it's really not worth it i would say but if you have the mats definitely get him he's pretty cool doesn't do anything you just you literally just place him down but yeah i think you guys already know most of this stuff you guys are here to see where we can find those uh ewok creatures so let's get to it let's go down this is our fire pole do a little flip and then a slide This is my horse, Bolt, is his name. It's pretty good. 
very trusty. I like him. Okay, so the first one we're gonna do, uh, let's go down the list, I guess. Okay, these fish heads. Let me uh, go show you where to find them. Oh yeah, if you guys want to know where we built our base, it's in the swamp area, right about here, our entire base is like covering this whole section right here. As you can see, my bed's right there. Yeah, so the fish guys, I uh, do believe there is one, I think, around here and another one here but I'll show you guys let's get to it oh I didn't even show you guys the faction well faction I, I keep calling it faction hall but it's a nom nomadic bazaar just a big hall uh, got some traders in here <laughs> Kelly's Pandy's uh, faction pets pretty cool bunch of traders trading people in here and then these are AOC Oh wait, is this this is AOC right? Aerosmithy? I think it's AOC. Yeah, AOC stuff. Then we have your Valiant Blacksmith. This is Ewa. This is the blacksmith you need. Um if you guys want me I can show you where to get the specific tr tr troll for this one. Thrall. I really wanna say it. Got a nether furnace, we got a master furnace, plague furnace, um this is basically the volcano forge, just the one you can make, and this is basically the ice forge. An alchemical bay, uh, uh, alchemical desks over here, gym stations, yeah. And uh, yeah, we're playing on a, a Eclipse server, so uh, if you guys want to know more about that, just hit me up. I'll uh, I'll hook you guys up with a link to their Discord. You can chat and join the server. So this is our thrones, not all of our guys have made thrones yet, we are a full clan of 10. But yeah, okay, cool, cool. Let's let, let's get to it. Ah, Bandy's big giant over there. Bolt, what are you doing in there? Horses need to be outside. Let's go and show these people where they can get their monsters. Oh, it's getting so dark. Yeah. My torch out. Go away, Shubel. And drink some water and uh, food. Okay, let's just get to the first location. Okay, coming up to the first location for the fishy guys, he spawns right there on the beach. Clear as day. And I'll show you guys on the map. This is in a uh, stop at M7. Right on the beach, right there. Dude, I'm trying to make a video here, come on man. Now, this one I would suggest you have uh, two or three teammates, especially if you're not high level, even now at 179. I could probably kill him, 
but I might want to use a pet, you know, with me. Um, he's really strong, they do recoil damage to you, so if you don't use AoE magics and stuff like that, the damage will be recalled to you. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's ranged only, but it might also be melee, don't quote me on that. But yeah, this is one of the e -wild bosses you need, those heads. Okay, let me go show you where he, there's another spot, the same uh, boss spawns. And here we go, this is the second location. You can find one of these bosses. Like I'm like I said, or I think I might have said, but uh Oh nope. I don't wanna fight you right now. Stop it. Uh you can find them right here. Oh, he's coming from me. Yeah, a place to cheese him, mm, maybe on top of that rock right there, just chill there and AOE magic him until you kill him. Uh, this guy stays angry for so long, like that rock right there, just jump up there, AOE him until he's dead. Takes a while but uh, it's a cheesy way, I, I mean, you can't have fast and cheesy at the same time. Ugh, let me just... Take care of this guy quickly. Are oh, you gonna go as well? Okay, cool. So, next one. It's gonna be the Lurker, which is... This one. The lurkers. I'll show you where the lurkers are. Well, one of them, because it's fairly close. It's right there, lurker. And guys, let me take you guys there.
we are coming up to the location now. Uh, it's just over this hill and on this little cliff right here. Guys can kind of see on the mini map. I'll show you on the big map. And there he is, standing right there, the lurker. It's right over there. So this is right here. That is in K4. On this little green ledge right here. He spawns right here. There you guys can see him. You'll notice uh, when you want to, you see the purple eyes. That's how you know it's him. All the Ewa bosses have uh, like glowy eyes. That one was purple. The ow, the uh, fish guy's green eyes, I do believe. But yeah, okay. Let me uh, take you guys to the next location for a lurker. actually gonna be closer just to teleport back to our base location so I'm gonna do that and uh, yeah the lurker is pretty close there
So this is uh, one of the hard Van Gogh camps. Uh, we are literally gonna run through it to get to the lurker. Or there is another way if you go up here over this bridge right here and you can enter from the other side. I find it easier just especially if you have a horse you just run straight through it. You know just run past the lurker for a little while they will stop aggro and you can turn around. I'll show you guys. And there he is, right there. Oh, he's gonna go fight that rock nurse. Okay, cool. Oh wow, one shot him. Uh, don't you come up to me. So, the one spot we found easy to cheese this guy is actually if you just place your horses or rhinos, whatever, down there, run up close to him, you get on that rock right there. Just jump up there and uh, you can AOE him until he's dead because his spawn is right there so he won't de aggro because he's not like super far away as long as you keep hitting him he won't uh, de aggro and reset and get full health and uh, you, you can just kill him so quite easy so the next one let's see what's up next Done the fish guy with on the lurker a locust. Hmm. Where was the locust spawns? Oh, I remember. Let's see this one right there. And one right there. So uh let me show you guys exactly where they spawn. So let me just find a quick round over the bridge. Yeah, okay. Cool.
coming up to the next location. Well, first location for the locust. Next location I'm showing you guys. Oh, guys, just leave him horse alone, would you? Paul didn't do anything. he is just try and pull bolt up bolt mate ah we'll just aggro it god damn it so yeah he's way at the tippy top over here just place bolt right there so he doesn't kill him for me, Bolt, can I move you just a little bit further away, mate? So yeah, he's also hard, like you can see, this is also a pretty good cheese place. You can just sit here, do your AoE, you hit him, kill him. Might take a while, depending on your damage and stuff. Like for me, let's see, one spell took us down 3%, so... A lot. 20, yeah, what's that, 20, let's say 25 times I have to use this ulti ability to kill him, it's not too bad, it's just time consuming, but you can do it, like you see the AoE doesn't do the recoil damage, but if I would shoot him, look at my health, I max health, if I shoot him, I take recoil damage, 10 recoil damage, so yeah, I don't, yeah, like I said, I'm not sure about the melee. I don't really try melee. Yeah, it's because I stopped attacking him. He just resets and kind of gets stuck. Why are you stuck? Uh, whatever. But yeah, this is one of the locations for the locusts. And the other one's down here. So, uh, let's go and show you guys. Let me just see. I need to go straight that way right yeah it's way up there that reach there I don't know if you guys can see but yeah he's like way up there pull bolt down let's go bolt need to show these people <coughs> Yeah, he's like on top of that ridgeway right there. The one cheese location is going to be that little peak. It's like the only cheese location. Some ostriches right here. Hey, ostriches. And that is not what an ostrich looks like. I live in South Africa and I can tell you that's not an ostrich. The colorful hood and stuff, that's all weird and not like it's supposed to be. Might have to take care of these guys just before I can sh- Ow. I'm definitely gonna take care of you guys. Stop it with your arrows, would you? Guys, stop it. Is that everyone that's gonna bother me? Looks like it. Okay, cool. Bolt. You can come and chill up here, mate. Put you right there. Now, this is a bit of a steep climb, but you are able to do it, so don't be scared. Just do it. Drink and eat before I take damage from that and actually fall. Oh. Why did I do that? Accidentally pushed the long button. Uh, let's get up here and I'll show you guys where he is and how we cheese him. He's right there, as you can see on the map, right on top of this hill. Spawns right there. Now for this one, you need some equipment to cheese him. Um, like I did, I just 
took a few pillars, three of them, put them there. Because you can actually walk all the way up here unless you put those pillars there. You see it blocks them. And then you can literally just stand here and AOE him. Until he dies. Yeah, he's resetting now because I took too long for his aggro. Let's just see. Okay, let me pull him. It's gonna hurt. Got him. Now it's gonna come over. It's usually stand right here. AOE him and uh, yeah, you just keep as long as you keep hitting him, he won't go away. As you can see, I'm just gonna do it a few times. Yeah, so uh, you can just keep doing this. Well, I took a little bit of a break. It's usually better to do this with two people. Just makes it easier, and uh, if something goes wrong, one can kite him, and the other one guy can like heal up or whatever. But yeah, so this is the other locust location. Ooh. Now this is going to hurt because you can't really slide down from this because it's like declined or whatever yeah okay that's the locust watch the next and just quickly see here oh the shane he wants to go kill the giant snake hmm Maybe I'll hop onto Discord. Mm. I mean, yeah, let me quickly hop onto Discord. Give me a sec, guys. Hi, Shane. How are you? Good in you, mate. I can't find anything and I just died to a whole ton of Scourge. A what? Scourge wolves. They just kind of popped up at me and I was, I was wandering through and the next thing I know I looked on my screen after I was dead and there was like six of them. I was like, didn't see them any of them. Oh, shit. The map room moved. Well, I, I don't see it right at the base. Yeah, it's not there. No, I was there this morning. Uh, well, a few hours ago, because I logged on. I'm actually busy making a video right now. And I saw the map room there, and I left. And then I teleported back. And as I was running back from the swamp teleport, I see our map room on top of a hill there. First, I thought it was someone else. I was like, who put a map room here? Got off my horse, checked it, and it was like, Nomadic Collective. Run back to base, I see that one's gone. So, yeah, it just moved. I don't know why. <laughs> did, you, it's weird. did you pick it up and no, move it I didn't, back? Or? I, no, 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 I didn't move it. Like I said, I'm busy making a video at the moment. Uh, okay, I mean, I can I can do that. Uh, yeah, move it back. On a hill? Yeah, um, if you go to the teleport, you know where the swamp teleport pops you out? The obelisk? Yes. Yeah, yes. that little hill you pass over running towards our base, it's literally on top of that. I don't know why it went Did over there. Did somebody do it on purpose? No, nah, I don't. Like, like I saw it when I logged on. It was where it was supposed to be. And then I left, and when I tp it back to the swamp, the map room was over there. So, I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, okay. I don't know how that happened. I, I last night I didn't find it and I was like, all right, whatever. Maybe somebody moved it. I didn't have time to figure it out. And then uh, this morning, and then I couldn't even teleport in the teleport last night. Is that something? It wouldn't let me through. So I was like, I wasn't sure if it was just me. Oh no no no! The teleports were broken. Puppy updated. The mod puppy, the one that gives you all the admin stuff. That's what they used to make oh. those teleport rooms, and uh, they kind of broke it with the last update. So. Oh, so they're just broken right now? Yeah, they're just broken. Echo needs to yeah. delete those basically and make new ones for in order them for all their you know for them to work. 
Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and, uh, you know, <laughs> he's got work and everything, well, and a bit lazy, so we'll have to wait a little bit. I gotcha. Okay, so don't expect to use that. Yeah, don't expect to use that. The whole day yesterday, yeah. we, me, Chibi, and Bandy played without them, <laughs> which is hard, actually. <laughs> you really miss them. <laughs> you yeah, don't, you you don't like... notice it until you need it, and you're like, oh, man, if this worked. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, you're like, wow! I didn't realize how much I really like having that. Yeah, yeah. How convenient it was. Even though you have to pay to use it, it's still convenient. That's nice. Yeah, I'm making a video quickly showing where all the Iwala monsters are because uh, me and Chibi had a field day trying to figure out where to find these freaking Iwala bosses. <laughs> Right, yeah, so uh, actually on that, since, so do you know where the giant uh, snake head is? Or, the, or I have to get the giant yes. snake head, so the giant snake that I have to kill. Yes, I know where two is. Two spawn okay. locations. Where? where? Um, if you look on your map. Okay. Do you see in the middle, kind of in the middle of the map, there's a, the arena, the one that goes yep. into the sinkhole? Now. Yep. Yeah, right there is one, but you don't go up the stairs on the side, you go in the middle that looks like a tube. You go in there and you run into the snake. There's a bunch of small snakes and then the big ones way at the back. You'll spawn in, just mess up some of the small snakes and you'll see them come out of the wall. It's that one. And then the oh, okay. Yeah, and then the other one is in the unnamed city. It's a bit harder. I would just found this oh. arena one. Sounds like a plan. Uh, I have to go get my guys up north though, because I was going to I was going to Rot Branch, and I guess when I walked through the God's Ward Tower area, it would just I just got swarmed. So I have to go get him before I do uh, that. Oh yeah. Jeez. Uh, Which is why I needed the teleporter. Yeah. <laughs> At least you can still use the map room. They're not broken. Well. Yeah. What well, I know, right? But then the map. Map room isn't there, so I was like, uh, yeah, yeah, how I do know. I do? Do I have to run all the way there and back? <laughs> nah, I just pick the map room up, move it back in the base, and you can use it. <sighs> Alright. So I gotta find, you said it's on the hill by uh, the other teleporter. Okay. So I can find this bad boy. Yeah, it's basically the sinkhole is the closest TP to it. Oh, oh, no, no, the, uh, the map room, yeah, it's just on the hill. But the uh, location for the snake, the, the sinkhole is the closest TP to it. Yeah. Okay, give me a sec, let me just, I'm arriving at my destination. Yeah. Okay, okay, so guys, uh, this is the next location. Uh, this will be, what's his name? I think it's the Crystal Rock Nose King. So this is the Crystal Rock Nose King location. Um, I would just leave my horse there, maybe put a bedroll down. And then he spawns right there, as you see, he just popped in. Yeah, right there. Uh, there's a bunch of imps, which are like vanilla imps, so it's just like easy to kill at this level for me but if you're hunting those guys these guys are nothing so one place to choose this guy from is you just jump up on this rock next to the mine the mine entrance is right there uh, you pick out your staff you poke him I hit him he's gonna get angry he's gonna walk all the way over here I guess you can like maybe do it from here as well. Yeah, this is a bit closer, I guess, like at the mine. He'll run up to you if it doesn't get stuck in trees. Hello, don't get stuck. Okay, well, over there it doesn't get stuck and uh, you can just AOE him. I mean, you can probably chop down those trees. Like he's friendly until you hit him, then he becomes aggro. So as long as you don't hit him. Oh, you get unstuck. I don't go through the trees. Oh my god, bus. Okay, but anyway, you can chop those trees like 
I think he's de right now. I'll show you guys. He is not. See, so he's not aggressive. Unless you hit him. He just sleeps here. Looks like it. <laughs> on his hands. Yeah, maybe chop those trees down. Get on that ledge or that rock. Um, shoot him and kill him. AoE style. Jeez. Same thing. It's most of these are going to be the same tip I give you. I'm just going to show you the locations where you can do it. So, uh, yeah, I guess uh, let's see what's the next one. This is the only this is the only um, crystal rock nose location I know. So we've done the fish, we've done locust, we've done the lurker. Um, I can go and show you where the Anubis is. Awakened giant head, which is basically just a huge Anubis. And uh, Halcats. So, uh, Halcats is obviously going to be um, in the volcano. There's two locations I can actually show you. Like, one's there. Halcat. One location is there, and the other one I'm not really sure. Mm, I have to be there to show you guys. But I think if I can remember correctly, where was it? Where was it? Might have been like here. I'm not sure, but we'll see. Let's let's hop on over there. Hey, Shane, I'm back. <laughs> hey, man. Did you find the, the the map room? Yeah, found it. Just placed it. It's uh, what do you call it? Pretty barren. Yeah. <laughs> Um, anyway, I put it right where it was before, but it was, I think, um, probably the cheese, or is it Shay that did the blood magic? I see that huge statue down there now. Is it altar? Oh, no, no, it should fit before it, because uh, I, I placed that altar, because it was on top oh, okay. of the mage base and it was too big, but I placed that altar when the map room was there. Gotcha, yeah, so yeah. It, it looks fine. Um, I just, I, I put it down, it kind of was in the woods, so you couldn't get to a couple of things, so I had to just rearrange a little. Oh, no, sure, sure, no problem. It's alright, I, I got it this time. Cool, cool. Um, I just ran all the way to a <laughs> teleport room and realized, I forgot, they don't work, so... After we just talked about it, yeah. Yeah. I know, I did the same thing, but it was funny because I was in <laughs> where I am now, and then I like ran to the mounds, which was like obviously even further away to get to the teleport because I was like, oh, that one's probably pretty close. I should do that one. And then it was, didn't work. And I was like, well, that's a problem. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. So that's why I just stayed up in uh, the outpost last night. And then I was like, okay, I'll go kill Rot Branch without the kill him one more time. Yeah. And then I'll make my way back and see if the teleporter works. And then I guess like it, it wasn't loaded. The next thing you know, I was like, I kind of like glitch for a second, and then I guess the wolf did his little howl, and uh, then what, yeah. and then when I was dead, I was like, okay, awesome. I looked, and there was like five or six of them. I was like, holy oh, crap! Oh, so but they were like kind of invisible. The yeah. Textures weren't loaded. Yeah, that's a problem. <laughs> and I was like, all right, that's because like I can take even two, three with my guys. Uh, yeah. You know, as long as I'm like. Pay attention. Now, I'm never on my horse when I do that because he doesn't move, like, laterally fast enough to yeah. kind of get away from that type of thing. But I was like, oh, that sucks. Because I took on two double cub bears with him and he took, like, 3% damage or something like that. Yeah, he's they're pretty strong. Are you doing a lot of the EWA stuff now, then? 
I'm showing where all the Ewa boss heads are that you need for the quests because me and Chibi had to really look for it so I'm just making a video on it cool is that like the ones that I just was asking you about no no those ones you want is for Ewa but that's vanilla bosses ah no the, e the Ewa ones is like that lizard guy by the beach that's the Ewa bosses oh okay. yeah the really strong ones yeah I'm doing those now. Just making a little video. Cool. I didn't realize you were a content creator. Well, I try. I had some uh, ARC stuff up as well. When I was playing on my ARC server, I had. I still have it, it's just not online because I'm playing this now. Right. Yeah. That's yeah, kind of hard, right? Yeah, you can't play two big games simultaneously like this. Like this. Yeah, it's too too much work. It's too much grind work. You can't grind for two games at the same time. There's no way. Truth. So I have to run. Wait, what is what do I need to do? Still. Um, I've done the fish. I just did the crystal rock nose. I uh, oh, it's the giant head of Anubis, and then the Halcats that are in the cave. I still have to do those two. I've done the locust and the lurker and all those ones. Yeah, I haven't done any of those. So is that the the hunter quest just further in? The next one you'll get is two or three out of the six main bosses there are that you have to do. Uh, I think the next one is gonna be after you finish this one with the. Are you doing the one with the? What's it? Ten? Oh, not ten. It's two or four. Are you doing the one with one head or four heads? Um, I think it's two heads. Oh, two heads. Or a couple, a, a couple are one and a couple are two. So I've got yeah, yeah, intermediate that's the hunter. first. So it's like yeah. two scorpion tails, two rot branch head, a thunderfoot head, and then giant snake. Yeah, and then so after got... that, you're gonna have another one that gives you four, I believe. Like oh, the same one. Four elephant heads, four big croc heads. Four of the snakes, four of the, the, the just four of all of the fucking vanilla bosses, basically. <laughs> I think it's four. Yeah, I think it's four, maybe five, but yeah, it's around there. So you doing one day you have to turn in three different heads, right? Um. Yes. Yes. The next uh, one is gonna be four, five. Four, four. Four. Is it four? Mm. Maybe that uh, is the, the second one. King Scorps. Yeah, it's the second one. It's the King Scorpion Tail, mm -hmm. the Rod Head, the Thunderfoot Head, and then the Giant Snake. Cool, cool. So yeah, the next one you're gonna do is gonna include the elephant, the big elephant, the spider heads, giant spider heads. Um, uh, what else was there? Um, oh, so I'm back to the giant spiders again? So I did that first. Yeah, but this one is going to have the ones you did before this plus these ones all together, oh, basically. Yeah, it's like gotcha. a group up, yeah. It's like, okay, you've done is three of these or four of these and three of these. Now you have to do all of them <laughs> and more of all of them. <laughs> yeah. Well, the, the spiders, when I, I met that lich dude down, uh, down there and he just messed me up... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they're pretty. Like it seemed like he seemed like he only took damage from magic. To be honest with you, that or I just didn't have enough damage. Period or something. I don't know, but he just. Reacted. I always use magic, so I wouldn't know. I've killed him twice. There's two of them in there, actually. Oh, uh, is there? Yeah, one is to the southeast, and then one is north, northwest. 
in the area like they basically opposite the giant spider <laughs> the two guys uh, me quickly all right um, I mean I like my horse but I'm not worried that if I'm I'm moving I'm gonna just like aggro these dudes you know Uh, yeah, damn it. Let me, give me, I'm almost done. As soon as I'm done with this video, I just don't want to make it too long because then editing takes so freaking long. I just want to quickly, I only have two more stuff to show. Uh, but that one is so far away, I should have deep it there. I mean, I can. There's a DP right here, never mind. Oh, remember, the DP doesn't work. No, no, map room. Map oh. room. Yeah, I'm by the ice lake. Pro pro proper one. Yeah, proper one. Ah, <laughs> oh, they built a wall higher. God damn it. Stupid freaking people. Let's see if they opened the doors. Oh, they did. Nice. Thank you. That's probably Hildy. The other guys close the doors, lock them. <laughs> yeah, I read a little bit about that. Good mm -hmm. times, eh? Yeah, some ass hats. Especially over like just useful crap. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I need to go to there, so south. To go south. Oh, two raid guys, come on. And a devil bear, oh my gosh. Run, Bolt. Just run. Run, my horse. Run. Are you here? Okay. Just need to do the Anubis head one and then the Hellcats go show where one of the them are at least and because uh, you have to do I think one from three of them and then after that you have to do two of each of all of them which is kind of annoying but right because it gives you something to do eh? Yeah, and it gives you XP like fucking in the millions, so it's worth it. Well, yeah, I also figured it was like something to do. Yeah, you know I mean? yeah, yeah. Quests. Some quests. Okay, give me a second. Okay, guys. Uh, next location, you're gonna have to kill all these guys in this camp. Just because they will bother you a lot. Don't hit my horse. Bolt, come over here, Bolt. I need stamina. Bolt. This guy with his shields is a bit annoying, he has so much armor. They're a bit tough. 
If you don't have a pet. Don't kill my horse now. He should be good. He has way more health than me. <laughs> Stop shooting my horse. My horse is still doing good. Let's kill this other guy first. Okay. And he's dead. Halt, I'm just gonna place you there. I have a bit roll down there, that's good. Just heal up a bit. Is that all of them? Hopefully. Yeah, looks like it. Okay, cool. So, the cave you wanna enter is right here. It's by the end of this river. It's called the Ancient Cave. You might have gone here to learn some Iwa, um, I think it's a Scorch steel, like the one I'm using now. But yeah, this is the one cave you can get a Nubis. Once you enter here, there's always this big guy here. He's fighting these two guys. Be careful for that stomp, it seems to kill. This is where you learn the Scorch steel. I'm just gonna run through it guys, I'm not gonna fight anything. Don't wanna drag this video out. There's a bunch of guys here, these worms sit on fire and they have aim bots, so be careful for those. Run past these guys, well you're probably also gonna like, fight them, I guess. Just gonna run past them, another one of these worms, two of them actually. Run past them through this little entrance here, past this guy, and there you go, there's the Anubis climbing back into his ground, I guess. And then a little cheese spot is right up here. You just stand up here. And you're super close to your spawn point, so you should not reset. You can just damage him from here and kill him. And he will always drop the head as well. And I think you learn something from him as well. He drops a scroll or something. I can't remember. I'm not sure. But yeah, this is the. What is it called? Giant something. I just call him Anubis because he looks like Anubis. This is the Awakened Giant Head. So you get that from killing him. Pretty decent now, 21k. So you can solo this because it's a pretty good uh, spot. You can just chill up here. And keep doing that until you kill him. But yeah, that's uh, the Anubis one. I'm just gonna leave now. And show you guys the Hellcats. Once you exit over here though, you'll be on the other side of the mountain. These two uh, scavengers or whatever, relic hunters. You guys wanna go? You can go if you guys want. I'm using Scorch weapons. Yeah, ain't fun, is it? <laughs> but yeah, like you can see, I'm on the opposite side of the mountain. We entered over here, popped out over here. All you do is just run to this big opening that leads like a mine or passageway or whatever. Just run through here, down to the right, and you back to where you entered. fairly easy and yeah I'll see you guys by the Hellcats I guess I'm back um, just gonna do right. another Hellcat I'm almost there well not almost there I'm going to be almost there <laughs> just have to run all the way to the snow now you want me to quickly come and help you or did you find your horse? Oh, I, I found him. I got my uh, my guy. I'm just going to kill a rot branch right now. Ah, okay. I, w I was killing a cub and then it started glitching and running towards the other guy and it didn't really 
I was just like, all right. So I just stopped killing them after I had got them down to about 5%. Oh, okay. <laughs> Annoying. Yeah. I just have to quickly do this Hellcat location and uh, then I should be done. Alright, Rob Brandt, let's rumble. And then I have the giant snake head. <laughs> oh, the giant snake's in the unnamed city at that, um, in the crowded area, right? Yeah, it has like super pink smoke by the door you have right, to pass right. through. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's that one. The arena one is just easier <laughs> for me personally. Oh, I got the white wolf up here too. Jeez. White wolf at the rock branch, eh? Mm -hmm. Gonna run to the teleporter TP2. Oh my gosh, I just realized once I'm in the volcano, there is no teleporter to get home. <laughs> like, a uh, actual. Like one that you can use, you mean? Like a map room, there's no map room I can use. Yeah. <laughs> I'll use the death thing, I guess. I'll place my horse here and a bait. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Place my horse and a bait over here. Land is claimed. I'm gonna have to do it on my So I'm at the pretty close to the mountains and there's the Blacksmith Spirit. Brega tells me what a lost soul Thorgar that still resides within the blacksmith hut in the mountains. Have you fought this guy? And then you learn how to make the pride of a seer armor. Oh no. I have not fought that guy. Horse there, yeah. and uh, go to the volcano quickly. 
<clears throat> Is that guy tough right there? The raw branch I just killed? No, no, the guy where you learned the what? Something... Thorgear? I, I don't know, that's what I'm trying, I'm trying to figure out. I've never ran into him at the mounds. So I'm like, do I go and try and kill him since I'm right there, but I don't know where he is. Mm. Oh. Give me a sec, I just have to do this cat and then I'll be done. I'm just, I have to do this snake, but I'm just like, if I'm in this area, do I just do that? You know? Yeah. I mean, just leave your horse and a bed outside, you know, away from him, so if you die, you'll be good. Just taste him, yeah. you know. Give him a little poke and see what he does. Well, I just, I don't know where he is, is what I'm saying. Oh, you don't know. Hmm. Might have to look for him then, yeah. I mean, I'm right here, I guess I might as well, right? Yeah, cool. Okay, give me a sec, I'll be back. Oh. Okay, guys, uh, just TP'd to the volcano. Uh... Yeah, our server has teleport set up, but I think uh, they're broken now because Puppy updated. Because uh, it uses Puppy to make these, and as you can see, all these little huts are built wherever the obbies are, and you can pi pay like five silver, the real silver down here. Uh, you can pay that to teleport to wherever one of the obbies if you don't have a map room nearby or whatever okay so we just came to the portal there just gonna run over this bridge try and remember where all the cats are I think I think one's down here isn't it should be yeah here's one right here they like also, they're not aggressive unless you attack them. Dude, trying to make a video here. And just kill this guy. Thank you. Okay, so this guy's over here. Um, let me show you on the map. He's right there. It's basically right between these two rivers. Uh, cheesy spot you can use to kill him is uh, right here. You can just climb up on this. Climb on this. Oh, it's so dark now. Why did it have to be night? Oh my god, can I see him? Maybe. Yeah, he's like right there. See if I can hit him. Yeah, just hit him. He'll run over. You can start your AOE magic. And uh, yeah, just kill him from there. Chilling up your nice little cheese spot. Quick and easy to do. Okay, that's the one. And there's two, so I'm going to show you the other location as well. It's a bit further along, like I showed you guys on the map. He's right there. Let's see if we can take a shortcut. Um, let's just wait for this guy to de-aggro, I guess. Are you de -aggroed? Where is he? Is that him? Can't see, it's so dark. I guess I can take off my torch. Is he still aggroed? Oh, it's during daytime. Sounds like it is. Yeah, he is. Can you diagram, mate? Ooh, don't fall down. While he's aggroed. See if we can outrun him. Oh, we just diagroed. Okay, cool. Nice. That's that, guys. So we're just gonna follow this lava. See if I can show you guys a bit of a shortcut across this bridge. Leave me alone, guys. I don't want to play. Just gonna run straight past this garden of poison or whatever it's called. 
<clears throat> Some stamina. I'm gonna put my torch away now. Ugh, these guys are gonna aggro, so I'll just sprint past them. Zigzag a little bit for Archer, even though they use aimbot. <laughs> Probably get away, yeah, it should be fine. Castle aggro, yeah, far away there. Get my stand back. Chase, chase, chase. Get, uh, toxic gas, noxious gas, or whatever. We'll be fine. Run here. Go down here. These guys are still gonna be aggro. They'll reset soon. Now you don't go over that bridge. You go to the right, kind of following this pathway. You know, going like this way. And he should be right here. There you go. There's the second hellhound, Alcat. Sorry, Alcat. Same thing. He does not aggro unless you punch him or something. And then obviously good. G spot right up here, hit him from here, AOE until he dies. Easy peasy. So, uh, yeah, that's all of the ones I know of, guys. Um, if you guys know of any other locations, please share them with me and I'll share them with the rest of the community. If you guys uh, want me to do videos on different stuff, for example, the Yeti, which I know there's one over here and one up here, you guys can just let me know and. Uh, I'll put it up for you guys. So thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel and uh, like the video. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.